Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I posted a couple of days ago, Google has already started enabling a feature called tracking protection in 1% of all Chrome browsers, which is their first phase of ending third-party cookie supporting Chrome, because by the end of this year, 2024, as I've been posting, uh, Google wants to phase out and replace third-party cookies by default uh, in the browser, and I'll leave that video down below. Now, because of these changes, um, I think it's going to be an interesting year, uh, this year, 2024, for the different web browsers due to the changes that Google Chrome and the Chromium team are going to be making to the browser. And over and above um, the blocking and ending support of third-party cookies, um, there's also the move to manifest version 3 extensions, which is mainly going to be affecting, you know, your um, ad blockers and privacy extensions and so on, which is causing a bit of de debate um, regarding the way forward for Chrome. And I've even seen a couple of comments on the channel that some users are thinking of ditching Chromium altogether and moving over to Firefox, hence the purpose of today's video. Now, because of these changes that uh, Google is um, going to be making, there is a strong possibility that other browsers like Brave, Edge, Firefox, Vivaldi, and so on, are all going to be benefiting from this um, these changes because a lot of these changes are viewed negatively by a lot of users of the Chrome web browser currently. So obviously those different mainstream web browsers like Opera, Vivaldi, Brave, Edge, and so on are another choice um, if you don't want to be using the Chrome browser. Now, the only problem with this though is that Google, as many of you will know, controls Chromium. So there is a lot of the same sort of privacy aspects and features that are bundled into the other Chromium-based web browsers because obviously at the heart and core, um, all the Chromium-based web browsers are very similar at their base and foundation. Now, this is where Firefox uh, comes in because obviously um, Firefox is not based on Chromium. Uh, it's one of, uh, one of the only mainstream web browsers that isn't based on Chromium. Another one obviously Safari, but that's more um, bundled into the Mac OS ecosystem. So it might not be a, a good second option, so to speak, uh, if you want to move on from Chromium. Now, the only problem um, with uh, Firefox is that um, it costs a lot of money and resources to basically change aspects that are not found in Chromium web browsers. So Mozilla still has to decide to implement a lot of the privacy changes that the other Chromium-based web browsers, as an example, do not have. So this can cost money. And another downfall is that um, a lot of sites that work better with Chromium-based web browsers do not work that well with Firefox. As an example, YouTube. There's constant problems um, in the Firefox web browser with YouTube, and I've posted one or two videos on how to fix uh, YouTube problems um, on the channel and you can just do a search accordingly if you would like um, to try and solve a problem with your Firefox web browser and playing YouTube video. So that comes to mind where even um, a lot of the uh, sites that are more suited to Chromium do not work that well with Mozilla. And uh, um, the only, another negative thing is also Mozilla doesn't have a major platform that they can so-called push their browser out on. As an example, Google Chrome, I mean, that's part of the Chrome OS, um, the Chrome OS um, system, uh, Chromebooks and so on. We've got Microsoft Edge that obviously is bundled by default on both Windows 10 and 11. So obviously, um, the fact that Mozilla and Firefox don't have those platforms is obviously another downside where the browser loses out on a lot of market share due to that fact. Now, Moving over to Firefox, if you want to get away from the Chromium system, obviously is a big draw for a lot of users because um, Firefox is mainly known or used to be known as a, a privacy-focused web browser. But there have been incidents in the past where Firefox has collected and does send telemetry, basically phoning home to the Firefox and Mozilla servers, which has been met with a lot of debate and controversy, which actually caused a lot of Firefox users back in the day to move over to Google Chrome um, 
Edge and so on and Vivaldi because of the privacy aspects and also that it doesn't function that well on a lot of websites that are more suited to Chromium-based web browsers. Now, obviously, in Firefox, you can uh, turn off a lot of telemetry uh, manually, but obviously, um, you'd have to do this manually. This is not turned off by default, so you can go through the privacy and security settings and basically streamline the browser to become a lot more um, privacy-focused by turning off the telemetry and make those changes manually. Now, um, as we can see, if we have a look um, at the actual visual aspect of the browser, there's not much really differentiating Firefox from the other Chromium-based web browsers. Um, it basically looks, if you, just, if you don't really know what it's based on, it basically just looks like any other web browser. But um, if Mozilla wants to get any so-called um, the first movers, with, for want of a better word, that are coming over from Google Chrome because of those changes, as I mentioned at the start of this video, then I think that they are going to have to start focusing once again on privacy uh, in the browser because um, this was a big draw card back in the day where users were using Firefox because uh, it's um, basically more open source and it doesn't... Um, it, it was a lot more privacy focused back in the day and this was a big draw card so um if mozilla does want to pull a lot of the chromium based web browsers due to the fact that obviously google is making the changes as mentioned then i think that a good thing they could do is to turn off a lot of these um privacy features which are enabled by default currently in the browser and just so-called batten down the hatches and just make it a lot more privacy focused which I think um, will bring a lot of the Chromium based users over to Firefox because um, a lot of old users left back in the day because um, they didn't feel that Firefox was um, really doing too well when it comes to the privacy side of things and due to that telemetry it pushed a lot of firefox users away so i think that if mozilla wants to get their share of the market and currently according to stat counter mozilla is um the fourth most used desktop web browser so there's still a bit of work to do it's quite far behind um uh, Microsoft Edge and especially Google Chrome but nonetheless I think if Mozilla and Firefox want to get a little bit more of the market share then I think a good way forward would be to batten down the hatches and um, focus a lot more on the privacy aspect of things which I think will be a big draw card um, for users who are moving away uh, from the other Chromium based web browsers especially Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge which are always a strong um, there's always a strong contention that these two browsers are not that privacy focused so nonetheless i just thought just to do a quick recap if you would be interested on a possible way forward and it's going to be an interesting year as mentioned and uh, um, it's going to be interesting year for the different web browsers especially the way forward for um, mozilla firefox and obviously i'll keep you guys updated regarding any changes or any news regarding what we've spoken about today in the future so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one